My name is Marge Kohler. I've been a board member about 10 or 11 years, and I've been a volunteer since I retired about four years ago. It's amazing how many students in our area have never really been in a natural outdoor setting. And it's very, very special for them. They're very excited when they come. My name is Robin Kuleko, and I am, well, the former executive director. I um, was one of the founders of the organization back in 1989. Well, we really began thinking about, um, at that point, an unnamed education program um, when we were advocating for creation of a wildlife area. The potential location of the Yellow Bypass Wildlife Area was perfect for an outdoor education program. When we started asking people to support the programs of the Yolo Basin Foundation, they were excited about um, the progress we were making on establishing the wildlife area, and the community was excited about having an outdoor classroom for their children. Well, one of the things I found is many of our students have never been out in nature. So they go through their neighborhoods, they see maybe a few crows, they see starlings, maybe pigeons, that's about it. So they haven't seen a local, what our natural area would be before we built Sacramento. So when we bring kids out here, it's just amazing how everything just, their lights go on because they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I've never seen this before. So even though they live so close to this, it's just so foreign to them. The first time they see an egret, and anybody who's been out to the wetlands, egrets, ah, you always see egrets, you always see herons. But these kids are amazed, they've never seen anything like it before. The kids love nature anyway, but this gives them the opportunity to understand what our region is and why it's so important to protect it because if you don't understand something, how can you value it? I find it immensely rewarding to volunteer out here. I've, I'm a retired school teacher. I taught biology and general science for 37 years. One of the reasons I keep coming back is the feedback that the kids give me every day. To have some kid come up, tug on your pant leg, and say, this is the best field trip ever. That keeps me lacing up my shoes and coming back out here. I had a little first grader standing next to me, staring at a great blue heron who was probably three inches taller than the kid. And the kid looked at it, looked up at me and said, this is legendary. I want to give legendary experiences to kids as much as I can for as long as I can. That's why I keep coming out here. I think it is one of the best organized uh, environmental education programs that I've seen, and I've seen many around the country and it's very well organized in the activities that are offered, very age appropriate, uh, good education, plus a lot of fun for the kids. 